Breakups and the Brain. Hi, my name is Rhonda Freeman and I'm a neuropsychologist. I feel fortunate to have a career that's all about the brain because not only do I get to discover what makes people tick, I get to explore the biological reasons why and work toward a plan to improve their symptoms. Most of the people I see have neurological conditions like brain trauma, Alzheimer's, or ADHD. Over the years, there's been another group of individuals that really grabbed my attention. They were people who not only had some subtle neurological symptoms, but they also recently went through a breakup. Their emotional pain was so tremendous that they felt like they were falling apart. They were suffering. It was apparent that there were specific brain systems that were behind those symptoms. I want to share them with you because as human beings, when we understand something, it can help us to cope better with the situation. Okay, so let's look at the brain systems that get a little off track after a breakup. The reward system. This system is associated with the addicted feeling we have towards a partner. When there's a breakup, we often crave them and may come up with some pretty clever ideas to see them again or have some kind of contact. The reward system is responsible for that urge to call or text them, even if a part of us knows it's a bad idea. This system can motivate us to want to pursue an ex again. The bonding system. This circuitry is the reason that we have a connection with others. Oxytocin is a neuropeptide and is one of the main neurochemicals of this system. Oxytocin levels can rise in response to the loss of a relationship, causing a person to want to reconnect with the partner that's gone. When there is a breakup, because of this system, we can feel like a part of ourselves is missing. The stress system. We have a few stress systems, but when it comes to breakups, the stress systems that become dysregulated are the ones that cause us to feel physical changes, for example, like heart or digestive difficulties. It's also these systems that generate feelings of anxiety, nervousness, hyperarousal, and trouble sleeping. The pain system. I probably don't really need to explain this system, but when the circuits of psychological pain are activated, a person will have grief, feelings of despair, sadness, or the sensation of a broken heart. They may feel like they're barely holding on. Severe progression of symptoms within this system can lead to depression and for some, suicidal thoughts. If you or someone you know has reached this point, Get them help immediately. In my profession, we don't believe in the statement, we're only saying it for attention, because there's absolutely no room for error if that approach is taken. The regulation system. We have a system within the brain that keeps our emotions in check. It allows us to maintain a balanced psychological state. However, after a breakup, this balance is disrupted and the emotional system becomes a driver while the regulation system takes a back seat. In neuroscience, we refer to this as bottom-up processing. And last, there are the cognitive networks. After a breakup, some individuals have trouble with thinking abilities, like concentration, organization, or memory. However, their ability to focus on their ex-partner might become heightened. Now, those changes are usually time-limited. So unless there was trauma within the relationship, the emotional intensity will fade. The pain of heartbreak, feelings of distress, and a brain hijacked by neurochemistry will get back on track. Do keep in mind there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to people. These are some common patterns for those who are distressed after a breakup. To accompany this video, there's an article that goes into much more detail. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, take care.